war wagons, is there room for improvement? I would say yes, mostly because of their poor stats and performance in terms of damage done and total kills. They only get 6 shots per volley and those sh shots only deal 5 missile damage and 25 armor piercing damage. Their 40 ammo runs out disappointingly quickly and they can't be used very effectively as a hit and run chariot, unlike Kislev's war sleds. And Kislev has the uh, light and the heavy variants as well and the heavy ones are particularly powerful. Now I'm just going to do some quick unit testing now against green skins in Warhammer 2. So you notice that with like 50 speed they are quite mobile but you can see the cavalry charging in here they're not going to avoid that. The cavalry has 70 speed so you know as you can see here they're just going to struggle in melee. Now on top of that they're also in Warhammer 3 I noticed watching Turian's stream they have 10% missile power, which I think is in line with all missile units in Immortal Empires in Warhammer 3. Um, so they're even less powerful in, you know, the new patch. And it doesn't look as though they've had any stat buff whatsoever. So, again, that's, that's a real shame. But hopefully CA will improve them in the future. Okay, we'll just move this battle on a bit so you can see how it's progressing. So on this replay I do eventually lose the battle and it doesn't need to be said that if you micro them properly they, they can be quite effective and uh, particularly in open land battles like this but they're going to be completely useless in sieges much of the time. Um, Maybe a bit more useful in Warhammer 3, possibly, because you can attack Selmans from multiple angles. So you'd be able to use that as a sort of skirmishing, kiting unit more effectively. In Warhammer 2, particularly, when you're attacking those sort of single flat settlements, you're going to have real trouble because um, you're just attacking them all from the front. You don't have any many angles you can go from, so you don't really have much opportunity to make use of their sort of skirmishing and moving around. So particularly, as I say, particularly in sieges, they're going to really struggle a lot of the time. Um, so now, just to let you know, I lose this battle. I probably could have won it with, you know, a bit more attention and microing, but, you know, that's not that's not really inspiring that, you know, you know, the unit requires a lot of micro in order to function effectively. Whereas other units, such as, the, you know, the war sled, which uh, we're going to compare to in a minute, will just tend to perform better for their cost in general because they, they specialise more. I'll come back when we're jumping it back into a battle between Kislev and Nurgle. Uh, Nurgle's got 20 units, I've got 20. I've got 10 heavy war sleds and 10 light. Uh, Nurgle will give us a solid test of you know our army abilities because they are considered at the moment in Immortal Empires testing to be a top tier faction to play against. Uh, especially I think Kugath, I'd probably say Kugath's kind of overpowered to be honest. Uh, anyway, we'll do a, a quick price comparison between uh, the War Wagon and the War Sleds. So your basic War Wagon, yeah it is significantly cheaper, only 850. The light sled is 1100 and the heavy sled is 1350. Now in my opinion your best value unit there for all around bang for buck is going to be the light sled and I'll show you why in a minute. So basically we'll, we'll do a stat comparison here. So the light sled has has less melee attack, it's faster uh, it has less melee attack, minus 4 melee attack, 9 better speed, uh, better leadership, and I think that's not right actually, I think they're both 70 leadership. Um, and it's telling me it's got more ammo for some reason, I think that must be just because it's used some of it. 
Anyway, statistically, it's not that different to the heavy war sled. It's got a bit less health, I think. Yeah. Uh, but the heavy war sled is, again, it's like 250 more. So I'd recommend going with that, whether you're playing multiplayer in the campaign. Obviously, later in the campaign, you can upgrade to heavy war sleds. Anyway, and we'll just do a quick uh, ability comparison as well between uh, the war sleds and the war wagons. So what all the, nearly all the Kislev units get uh, a morale ability for free. Um, so they, they have by our blood. So basically this, and the Empire doesn't have anything like this. And it just means that if these units run low on morale, they won't, they won't run away. It lasts for 30 seconds and it makes them basically unbreak, unbreakable, similar to undead for a limited time. And you'll find that on the battlefield, that just mean your cavalry, the Kislev, and, uh, and your war wagons will just generally not run away that often. Uh, morale is much less of an issue for Kislev. So against the Empire, you know, that's really going to stand out because the Empire does have some pretty bad morale issues. And I think both of these units have 70 leadership as well, whereas the war wagon only has 65. So that doesn't sound like much, but it, it does add up, especially when you take into account the free morale ability that they get. Anyway, I think what we'll do now is we'll just jump into the battle and we'll, we'll let it run for a bit. And you can watch them dealing some damage. And we can see already... You know that, that this one's done 2600 damage this one's done 1700 they're all doing you know reasonable damage we're about we're about two and a half minutes in taking a bit of missile damage there from the festering stooges but it's not that bad as i say this is going to be a solid test of these units because nurgle is considered to be very strong like when I first tested Nurgle, I thought they weren't very good, but it's not the case. They're actually very strong. And I've, I've been watching Turin and uh, Anticity and, and all the others streaming them and testing them. And they do test very well in multiplayer Nurgle. They're a solid adversary. We'll just zoom this on a bit. And one thing that you'll notice here is that they've got way more ammo as well. Didn't mention that earlier, but that's hugely important. They don't tend to do as much damage per attack, you find. But they have, a, they have like two or three times as much ammo as the war wagons, which is huge. And you can see here as well, when, when you're running a bit low on ammo, when the enemy get, unit gets weakened, you can just blob up and charge in. You can mass them all together and, and do a big chariot charge. And you tend to find that they pull away better as well. Um, so in, in comparison to war wagons, they're better at almost everything. But the problem is, is that you just have to pay, pay more. I would say paying more is easily worth the cost. And as I said before, um, the war wagons, you know, they haven't, it doesn't look like they've been buffed in the latest streams that I've seen from people. So yeah, I think it, it's a no brainer really. It, the only problem is, is that obviously, you know, they're two pretty different factions, Kislev and Empire. But I think one thing that they do share, so you can't really compare like for like, but the thing they do share is both their rosters are fairly flexible. They've got a good range of units. I'd say that the, the Kislev plays a bit more like maybe High Elves because they, they focus much more on hybrid units, whereas the Empire focuses purely on diversity i think um so they're both they're both a lot of fun to play and i really enjoyed both factions um but what what we've seen here is that doing a bit less damage maybe per shot but again we've got so much ammo that we can just keep we can just keep on going and keep attacking and then when we run out of ammo we can charge in and if you're up against if you're up against an infantry army like nurgle that's really going to pay dividends for you so i think i'll End the video there. I've been uh, Strategic Insights. Th thanks very much for watching and uh, if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and particularly subscribe. Thanks again.